It's okay. And then find your trap, find your tree. Here's your seat. Keep your leg on so she doesn't go to a two. Yes, good girl. That's your job. She's only gonna follow your rhythm, right? That was good because she wanted to get flat and long and you said, nope, go to my three with my seat. Stay there, don't go to the two trap. You now have a sense of those, those balance points, right? But change direction, we'll do it the same thing the other way. Play with those volumes. That's gonna be the thing you do for the next week. just did there to make her not jump. Yeah. You kind of squished your booty in there, didn't you? You were like, Yay! and you kept her back soft by keeping yours soft. And she didn't shake. Super. Then show me your free trap. Good. Looking at that outside ear. Already start playing. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll bend a little bit to the outside so she doesn't fall in. There you go. Doesn't have to be a lot, right? It's just an inch or two. Good. Show me your two trot just for fun. Good. Then you're three again. That's a hard one for her. That's going to be my new favorite thing to do with you. Very good. Excellent here. And then looking at that outside ear, just a nice quiet canter departure. She doesn't get to go from the three to the four. She has to go from the three trot into the canter. Good. Breathing. That's right. Soft through that upper knee and thigh. Super. Super. Breathing. Soft through that upper knee and thigh. There you go. And then imagine how you ride your transition within the track. Yes, good. Stay in the three. Just for fun, go to the two, then go back to the three. I know, this is hard. Yep, yep, yep. Leg, 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 leg. Go back to the three. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Beautiful. There you go. And then back to the two. Bring it back from your seat. Good, good, good. That's okay. That's okay. But that's that's what you've got to develop with her, right? She also can't do it yet. She'll give you moments of that, and then she fatigues out too. You'll feel that when you start holding her more from your body and less from your hand, you need more leg, which is great. We want that. So this used to be your harder direction for the cannon, wasn't it? This is by far better than the right now. Feel more balanced? That's great. Good, let her walk on the buckle. I'm really happy with that today. I think she's tired. <laughs> Actually, look at that walk. Well, yeah, what just... do you think about that walk, huh? Yeah, but it doesn't just come, right? Like, like when I wake up, I can't move either, so you have to stretch her out the same way. You're you're doing some longitudinal suppleness, so suppleness from nose to tail and tail to nose. So my goal for you this week is do your stretches at the walk that we did with your legs to start loosening up your hip flexors a little bit and ride those transitions within the gate. Play with that. You, the worst thing that can happen is she breaks, right? It's the worst, the worst case scenario, she breaks to a walk from your trot. But, but start playing with that adjustability. Yeah, and then you just, you just play with it. Just create different types of, of volumes of the walk and trot, and eventually you'll be able to create volumes within the, the canter. She just needs to get a little, you both need to get just a little bit stronger and a little more balanced, and then you can play with different kinds of canter. Good job. Thank you. You're awesome. welcome.